Hi, in this video I will show how to use application for converting save files from SPSS uh, IBM statistic uh, into PDF format. You can see I have a sub file on my computer. I can double click on it to open. It's a um, it's self viewer. It's free app. It's, uh, it's showing what is what is inside uh, self files. And you can see I have a date information, uh, amount, um, pay, and category columns as well. So, and I will be converting this data into PDF with application I will install from my, my website. You can also, um, this is the, we can open this file, self file into IBM statistics and I can open it and show you what is inside. And, but uh, you don't need to have uh, IBM statistic installed. Um, I have a trial version and it will expire soon, but um, I don't need this uh, installed in order to, to convert this file into PDF. Let me show you. So my band data, wait, my band data. Yep, and you can see all data is here. So basically I will be converting this data with application into PDF as application I will install from my uh, website. This is my website. To find I have a click on search and type SPSS. And I need this convert SPSS and I need SPSS to PDF. And click on download. I will be recording more videos on different converters from SPSS format into different like JSON or XML or different formats. So if you are interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. All right, we are waiting for archive to be downloaded. Here it is. I'll click on downloaded archive. Double click on MSI inside archive to start installation and click on more info here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. So I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click on finish on final screen. And you can see application has been installed to my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop as PDF. So now I can close this and this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now, conversion is three steps processing. First step, I will select my sub file and click, and I click bank data. And I can select multiple, uh, multiple sub files if I want to, them to be like going one after one into PDF. So I can have this if I will select more files. Um, after that, I click on next step. Here, I can specify which columns from a sub file I'd like to. Uh, uh, to, to put into PDF and I can specify document size, um, fonts, make it smaller, bigger, and uh, sp uh, document orientation. Um, the, let's select landscape, for example. And um, I can specify uh, which columns I'd like to have. So let's select this one. This one is coming from it will be two tables. So first table with, will be with data and second table will be with field explanations. Which, which fields have subfile? It's like similar to SPSS uh, variable view, which shows which uh, which field. Uh, so we don't need this. Just I will just leave uh, four, four, four columns I'd like to convert. And then click on next step. And on final step, I'll click run to um, to start conversion, it's in asking me for name and location of the file. This name and location is OK. Just click Save. And you can see file has been saved. Oh, sorry. Let's go and see file. So I'll just click on PDF to open it. And you can see we have our data converted from, uh, uh, from um, cell file. All amounts is here and uh, PE and category. This is, I didn't select prop files. If you select prop files, this page will contain, uh, uh, this page will contain, um, oh, let's, let's select this. Let's go back to application and select all. So we will have this name label file. Run. 
creating. Let's override this file. Override. And open it again. So I will show you what, what it will be. So here is like name, label, and type for uh, for every field uh, from Ceph file. So yeah, basically that's it. We converted our Ceph file to PDF. As I mentioned, we don't need statistic installed. It can be uh, it's a separate app. It doesn't require statistic installed. And um, yeah, basically that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you'd like uh, to see more like video, um, videos or more applications like this, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel and like this video. Thank you.